What's going on teachers? Today is Tuesday, so it's time for a Tuesday teaching tip. And today we're talking about organization. And I, I thought, you know what? What a better way to talk about organization than to show them my teaching desk because this place can be the desk of no return if not properly maintained and organized. So I'm gonna show you my teacher desk and how I organize it and how I manage all my stuff. Roll intro. Staying organized throughout the school year can be a bit of a chore if you don't have the proper management system in place. So I'm gonna just kinda give you a little tour of my teaching desk and show you how I organize my incoming stuff, my outgoing stuff, all the stuff that you have to deal with as a teacher. It can be quite, quite overwhelming at times. So let me just... I've got a to-do basket. So anything I have to do, it goes right in here. Put it right here, I take care of it. Try to take care of it by the end of the day or at the worst, the end of the week. Try to get this, I don't want this to-do list, I don't want my to-do pile stacking up too high. Down here I've got some paper, just some quick paper. If I, ever, if I ever need to make any notes or anything, I got some paper and a little notebook just in case. Gotta have some hand sanitizer at all times so you don't get the black of death. Because you're gonna get the black death if you don't use sanitizer, if you, especially if you work in kindergarten. My Oscar the Grouch bank, where this is where I put all the money that I confiscate from kids. Pen organizer. I got my knickknacks and patty wax right here. Probably the most important thing of all is the coffee pot. Having a coffee pot in, my, in your room is one of the greatest things ever. You fire up the coffee pot first thing in the morning, who knows, maybe make up another batch in the afternoon. Smell that, smell that sweet aroma, the nectar of the gods all day long. Mm. Also, uh, you know, just we need a little bit of an energy boost. Don't have to go all the way to the teacher's lounge. My file cabinets, this is where I keep all my long-term files, documents and, and copies for the school year. So Thanksgiving stuff's in here and I got Christmas stuff in here, all nice and tidy in my file cabinet system. This is just some curriculum that I use from time to time. I keep it right here close. That way if I ever need to use it while I'm lesson planning, boom, it's right here. I got my mustache box, there's nothing in there right now. My award for the ugly sweater contest. Ancient phone. Okay, now this is my pride and joy this year of my desk. I am notoriously terrible at passing out papers at the end of the day. Like, I'll check my mailbox and, and I'll just put all the papers that are supposed to get sent home, I'll just throw them on a pile. And then uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pass them out like two or three days later and by the time I pass it out, the event that they were supposed to be notified about, already passed. So this year, here's what I got. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is where I'm gonna put all the papers that the kids that need to go home with the kids. Monday stuff that goes home, Tuesday stuff, and so on. That way I never forget. All right, here's where I organize all my binders of stuff that I need for my TBT, teacher-based team meetings, my BLT meetings, my PD meetings, labeled appropriately important stuff. And then uh, this is a some miscellaneous catch-all. Up here we've got clips and stuff and organizing stuff and whatnot, some tape and so forth. Middle one is band-aids and other medical things and the random watch. Random drawer. Tied to go pen and some batteries. Some of these, I don't know what I use those for, you know. More files. This is my this right here, back there. That's my one of my most important drawers. Basically what I do is any type of paper that I get that I'm not exactly sure if I need if I can throw it away or keep it, I just shove it back there. Because then if anybody asks, hey, do you have that paper? It's always in that drawer. It's not very organized back there, but I know it's there for sure. Um, you know, because sometimes you have the one you have a paper, you're like, oh, do I need to hold on to this or not? And then I just throw it out the next year when I know I don't need it anymore. So that's what I use that part for. The all important sticker drawer. You can never have too many stickers. Stickers for days. Food stuffs. Gotta have some raisins back here, some cliff bars. That's my teaching desk. That's how I organize and keep my life in check and keep my sanity throughout the school year. Hopefully my desk stays looking this way the whole school year. It doesn't turn into that wasteland of papers and whatnot. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It'll really help me out a lot. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. I do tons of videos, including a daily vlog where I show you what it's like to be me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday for another edition of Tuesday Teaching Tips. Have a great day, teachers, and see you next time.